Hi, my name is Dan Lauritsen, and today I'm really proud to present to you our newest LED fitting, our high bay, it's called the PS UFO Max. This fitting has got an unrivaled energy efficiency of 185 lumen per watt. That is an amazing output from such a small fitting like this. Now, with that kind of efficiency, you can go to your existing site and you can remove your 400 watt high base and replace it with 100 watt LED high base from the PS UFO Max. That is a 75% energy saving right off the bat. And that's even before I start telling you about the other features that this fitting has got. Now, first of all, we have redesigned this fitting from the ground up in order to make them as long lasting and as energy efficient as possible. These are really durable fittings and they're heavy too. So the first thing I want to show you is that we've integrated the sensors of the fitting into the fitting and placed it in the middle where they are well protected and where they detect in any direction that's needed. So first of all, we've got motion sensors built in, which means that if you've got an aisle full of LED high base and they are all turned off because nobody has been around for a long time, all of a sudden somebody walks in or forklifts come driving in 15 meters away and they'll all detect this and turn on immediately without any delay. Then they can be set to turn off either after one minute, if you've got very fast forklift drivers, or three minutes or five minutes if you have people who are picking in the aisles. All of those settings can be set up from production or by our remote control. The second thing that we've integrated is daylight sensors. So if you have a site with skylights in the roof and the sun is shining, you will be way above a thousand lux and you don't need all of these lights to be turned on. Now, our daylight sensors will be able to detect that whenever the sun is shining and the sun is providing more than 300 lux. These fittings will dim down and turn off. Come nighttime or if a cloud passes by and the lux levels are reduced down to 300 lux again, these sensors will detect that immediately and all of the high base will turn on immediately. So you will never be below 300 lux, but whenever the sun is shining, you will save loads of energy. And even better, when these lights are turned off, they don't consume the, 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 the lifetime of the fitting, so they will actually last longer. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you, which I'm really excited about, is the remote control that comes with these fittings. This is a game changer, because previously, if you had sensors fitting, fitted to your fittings, you would have to bring a lifter and two people to make any changes to it because high bays are traditionally located in 10 meters height, right? That's a lot of manpower in order to change the sensor detection. With this remote control, first of all, you can change any settings on the sensors, when they turn on, how long time before they turn off, and how much should they dim down? Should they dim down 50%? Should they dim down 70% or should they turn off all the way? You can check that yourself, right? You can do the same thing with the daylight sensors. If you want to make any changes to that, you use your remote control. But the most exciting thing here 
as well is that usually when we replace some traditional high base with our LED high base, we usually increase the light levels loads. So usually the, the, the client won't need more than say 300 lux. And our light fittings are often, even with a 100 watt fitting, we are often hitting somewhere between 300 and 500 lux. Now, the workers may love this, but still, you could decrease the brightness slightly, say 20%, take it down to 350 uh, lux. And you can do this all with a remote control. You just press dimming, and they will dim down in steps from 100% down to 90%, 80%, 70%. Whenever you hit the lux levels that you are comfortable with and which your colleagues are happy with, then that's where you're gonna go. But say that in the, in the future, the site needs to be redesigned, the racking needs to go somewhere else, or you will have an inspection area which needs loads of high lux levels. Well, then you take your remote control and you change the lux levels in the areas where it's needed. So this is a future proofing as well as an energy saving device. So let's go back to the energy savings. So previously we took a 400 watt fitting, reduced it to our 100 watt LED fitting here. Already there you've got 75% energy saving. Then you take the motion sensors, which turns off the light fittings whenever there's no activity, and you can add 5 to 10% on top of those energy savings. You take the daylight sensors, and which turns off the light whenever the sun is shining. That may be all the day in the summertime, that may be 12 hours, right? So you can add another 5 to 10% energy savings on that. And then you take your remote control and you dim down slightly. Let's say you dim down another 10% there. All of a sudden, you're not looking at a 75% energy saving. You are somewhere between 80 and 90% energy saving. Now, that's worthwhile doing, both for the pocket and for the financials of your company, but also for the environment. So, if you want to know more about this fitting, or if you want to see it demonstrated, then reach out to us. We're at www.polarislight.com and we'll be looking forward to having a chat to you. Thanks guys.